Okay. 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 We can finally breathe. <laughs> finally. Oh, today is the day. Today is the day we've been longing for over these last 10 months. The moment that our hearts have been yearning for for our entire lives. Baby, we are here. We pulled this thing off in five short months. Every ounce of hard work that we put into this day has paid off, and Jesus has made it exactly what he wanted it to be. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be able to get through this. This truly has been the most refining process we've ever had the chance to walk through. Jesus has taken us through the wilderness, just as we prayed He would. He's taken us and broken us down and turned us into something so divine and beautiful and unlike anything we could have ever imagined. Jesus has used every second to draw us closer to His heart. He's used every trial to turn us towards His face and to shine light on the things that matter. He's used the, the times of stress and the times of need to show us what our source is, to show us where life comes from. He's used the season of engagement to reveal to us where our priorities must be and what must be our first love. Mary Lee, you are the greatest gift I've ever received. Every day I think to myself, it doesn't make sense how Jesus chose me to steward your heart forever. You are everything to me. All I've ever dreamed of and all I've ever longed for is this person that you are, Mary Lee. Looking into your beautiful eyes is the closest. It's the closest representation I'll have of Jesus on this side of heaven. Your heart is so full of passion and fire for the things that you commit yourself to. A passion that is unmatched and even untamed at times. <laughs> but it's one of the most inspiring qualities I've ever witnessed in a person. I've seen this devotion by the way that you love me, by the way that you chose me, but I don't deserve to be chosen. The patience that you have for the people in your life is so incredibly similar to Jesus. You choose to listen at all times. You choose to love even when it's not the easiest and it's the hardest thing to do. You choose to walk in selflessness and humility even when you shouldn't. Mary Lee, you're the strongest woman I know. Mary Lee, you have turned this foolish boy into a man. You've loved me through every flaw and imperfection that I have. You've patiently chosen to love me where I'm at and for who I am in any moment. Mary Lee, you love the parts of me that are so unlovely. I vow to love you with everything inside of me, with every single day of our lives. I vow to choose you always. To choose to love you at all times despite what we see ourselves in. To always put you first and to love you by prioritizing you over anything in this world. To push you and to challenge you. To love the Father more and more with everything inside of you. I vow to protect you and to be a safe haven for you. To be a place of rest and peace for you at all times in all of our lives. I vow to be a husband that walks in humility and honors you and respects you at all times. I vow to never give up, to push through it, to push through it all, even in the most difficult seasons. I vow to choose Jesus with everything inside of me and to love you from that place. My sweet Bailey Joy, I love you for all. I love you forever and always. Connor and James Carter. Today we stand face to face in holy expectation for all of heaven to rejoice at this sacred union. We stand as wanderers seekers of love, seekers of this mystery we've been invited into. But most importantly, we stand as wildly in love friends of Jesus. Connor James, there is none like you. You have ravished my heart with your love, a love so pure and so matchless. I am in all of your ways. You truly are the rarest of all. My heart delights in being found by you. You stand now in authority, yet you overflow with a gentleness and a meekness. You are a manifestation of heaven, evidence of God's love that is undeniable. Our story started as a love offering from Jesus, and that's all that will increase for the rest of our lives. We have gone into the deepest places of my heart and walked slowly and gently with the Father to all the areas that I never knew were there. You have taken such good care of my heart, Connor, and I've done so in partnership with the Father. 
together, we have cautiously yet fiercely jumped into the deep end where it seemed frightening at times, but there's been a found freedom in those places. Mm. And an aroma of peace to go even deeper. <laughs> Founder Carter, I will fight for you in every deep place. I will partner with you hand in hand and go to any uncharted waters with you because I know this love is destined by God to go far deep in mine. I will forever stay in this garden of love with you, growing in deeper wonder of this mystery. I will dance with you through this life together. <laughs> I will walk around the sprint with you and give up my life to trusting where the wind of God may take us. No matter where we may go, I know I will always find home in you. Connor James, I vow to see you rightly. I vow to look at you through the lens of the Father. I vow to submit to you, to your leadership over me, and to trust the Spirit of God that fills your whole being. I vow to always be a safe place for you to exercise and discover the gifts God has given you, and to help you see the ones He is inviting you into. I vow to believe in you, to believe in the dreams God has given you, and to believe for you when you cannot believe for yourself. I vow to sit at the table with you and feast in every high and low season. I vow to surrender to lay at the feet of Jesus and to pursue Him for all my days. I vow to being a home for you, to being a safe place to rest and discover more and to take risks no matter the cost. Connor, I commit every day with you <laughs> and it's through you that I have truly found the beauty in becoming. I love you in every place, Connor James Connor. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm.